So we are going to talk about a very interesting topic. I know we always talk about medical ailments, serious stuff, but you know, we wanted to bring something fun today, right? So, so we're talking about skin health. And skin health is, you know, all of us know skin health is, you, we want beautiful skin, we want to look great, and we use all kind of products, right? I mean, I use Ayurveda products most of the time, but skin health is also skin deep, right? And that's what we are going to be combining, right, today with Dr. Deepa Apte. She is one of the top Ayurvedic doctors in UK. She is amazing, amazing. So just hang on for one second, and I'm going to add her right now. So Dr. Deepa Apte, um, like I said, Dr. Deepa Apte is one of the leading Ayurvedic physicians in the UK. Uh, hi, Dr. Deepa. I'm super excited to have you here. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, 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 good. So we are super excited. You know, we were initially going to think of doing another topic called liver cleanse and then skin health come, came into the being. So, so here we are with skin health. I think all of us uh, are, are fast, you know, kind of obsessed, right? We want to look great. So here it is, Dr. Oh, Deepa Apte. Oh. She is one of the leading Ayurveda doctor in UK. Her, uh, she's done amazing, amazing work. She, she's done, she offers her consultations, courses, her product line. She has a cafe. I mean, I can go on and on. Maybe you can add a little bit about yourself, Dr. Deepa. Oh, well, that's very kind. Thanks a lot. Yes, you know, of course. Uh, I'm an Ayurvedic practitioner doctor, but I'm also a medical doctor. I'm a yoga teacher. So, you know, I, I used to combine all the three systems in my practice. But ever since I've opened my company, Ayurveda Pura, which has been like 17, 18 years, I focus more on Ayurveda and yoga. So through that, I also run an academy. I train people to become Ayurvedic practitioners, therapists, yoga teachers. And as you said, you know, I also do consultations. I do things like these, you know, like live chats, just my aim is to get the whole world of Ayurveda, Yoga, Vastu Jyotish, all Vedic sciences out there to everyone. So that is my journey. So that's what I do. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Love the work that you're doing. And, and I'm super excited to have you here. And uh, so, all right, let's just talk about skin health. You know, Ayurveda has a different perspective. It's not like putting all the cosmetics in, you know, uh, kind of outside, but it's internal. So we want to talk about both the aspects, right? So how would you like to yes. get started from an Ayurvedic perspective? Yeah, you know, because we talk about skin health, one of the most important proverbs or quotes that we use in Ayurveda is do not put anything on your skin that you can't put on your tongue or in your mouth because anything that you put on your skin is just like a mouth, you know, yeah. from a mouth, just the way everything gets absorbed deep into our tissues, likewise, anything that you put on your skin will get absorbed deep into the tissues like, you know, the blood tissue, bone tissue. So that is the kind of importance we give to skin. And of course, on the other hand, we also say, of course, you know, there are two ways of looking into life. One, you know, one of the most important aims in Ayurveda is anti-aging. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, when I use the anti-aging, people might think, oh, is it just superficial? Is it just, you know, how you look on the outside? But actually, it's not that. In Ayurveda, when we use the term anti-aging, yes, you, it is our duty to look young, beautiful, healthy from the outside mm -hmm. but that is not possible if you don't do things from the inside so yes. it is always both ways inside and outside so that is the kind of importance we give to skin health and you know things that we see from the outside too okay so now so let's just start with the inside first right and ayurveda is huge right on dinacharya on ritucharya on cleanses so so maybe talk uh, just educate us a little bit about just just on a very high framework this is a 15 minute session you know the importance yeah. of the cleansing and and the daily routines and and some kind of a process, sure. protocol yeah, sure sure yeah so you know because you talk about daily routine and cleanses and you know dinacharya and you know season changes and everything what ayurveda says there is a big connection between what you put into the mouth that goes into the gut because from the gut in the gi tract once the food gets digested it gets absorbed into the blood circulation mm -hmm. but interestingly there's a big connection between the blood circulation circulation itself and the skin so big connection between what you eat mm -hmm. going through the circulation coming up to the skin but then on that hand on that way as we were you know chatting yeah. one of the most important things that we also talk about in ayurveda is that if you want to correct your skin imbalances mm -hmm. don't look or think skin from the outside 
but think about liver from the inside because once again talking about cleanses you know like a liver cleanse directly then brings changes in the blood system mm -hmm. and through that you start bringing changes in the skin too so we have to think a bit parallel or out of the box mm -hmm. if you're looking to get rid of acne psoriasis or even look young get rid of getting rid of fine lines and wrinkles don't think of skin that you can see on the outside mm -hmm. but think of all the organs in the inside and start changing those Oh, wow. So yeah, as you say, the cleanse is important, very important to bring change from the inside. So, so you you mentioned a little bit about the liver cleanse. So, is this something we can do at home, like simple things, or do we have to see a Ayurvedic practitioner to get ourselves like a punch karma or or yeah. or a seasonal cleanse? Sure. Now, when we talk about a liver cleanse, the one that is generally I do offer through, like my Instagram, I usually promote. It is like a one week long cleanse, but it is something that can be done from home. Mm -hmm. And what Ayurveda? See, again, very important to remember is that when we say that following Ayurveda, it's not you completely changing your lifestyle, but you're integrating all these Ayurvedic approaches into your daily lifestyle. Likewise, even with this liver cleanse, it's all about you integrate those little things that you can do on a daily basis for those six, seven days, mm -hmm. and through that. you're getting rid of that excess heat or any kind of toxins from the liver mm -hmm. so through that then you're getting rid of that heat or toxins from the blood mm -hmm. and in turn then getting rid of heat and toxins from the skin mm -hmm. and hence you know a much more kind of glowing healthy skin so yes, it is something that can be done from home if people wanted to oh wow okay and then then there's a more uh, a kind of uh, involved uh, protocols like punch karma right that deep that that's yes. a serious detoxification you know okay. when you are either vomiting or right Yes, absolutely agree. Then you will see that now when you talk about pancha karma, as the word goes, pancha meaning five and karma meaning actions, meaning five actions to get rid of any excess doshas or toxins or changes in the tissues in the body. But to be able to assess, you know, out of those five actions which will be suitable for you, mm -hmm. it is essential to go to an Ayurvedic practitioner because then they will assess the changes of the tissues, doshas, what the changes are happening. Mm -hmm. Then based on that, the kind of you know. things like actions that are chosen or treatments that are given mm -hmm. both internally and externally mm -hmm. that is how it is chosen because as you just now mentioned therapeutic vomiting or emesis mm -hmm. it is one of those cleansing actions which is not suitable for everyone mm -hmm. so the practitioner will assess and understand and then based on that then they will certify okay, you can do a like two week long a two week long panchakarma or 21 day long you know panchakarma so even the time duration will change based on your presentations that's right here yeah. Okay. All right. So now that we learned a bit about cleansing ourselves from inside out, I mean, there's a simple cleanse like a home cleanse, and then there's a more involved cleanse that's the punch karma. What else uh, um, would you like to talk about the inside? Is that the daily routine would be another one? That's a daily cleanse. Oh, yes, right? yeah. See, uh, again, you know, we in Ayurveda we believe that as the word goes, you know, are you life Veda science? Yeah. So that means our everyday life is Ayurveda. Mm -hmm. So from that point of view, if you're not integrating into your everyday routine, daily chaliya lifestyle, it's not Ayurveda. So in a way. everything that we are doing every day is ayurvedic but we also have to bear in mind you know what your body type constitution and accordingly choosing mm -hmm. things to do to even cleanse from the point of view of dinacharya so something as simple as a moment you wake up in the morning have like you know 3 to 500 ml of warm hot water on empty stomach to drink down mm -hmm. that is one of the best ways to cleanse in terms of every day you know dinacharya mm -hmm. just not the skin or the liver but even the gut also have to cleanse the you know the nervous system or mm -hmm. the tissues in the body yeah. so it starts and not just cleanse also bearing in mind it is nourishing too mm -hmm. so because you're talking about cleanses and dinacharya one thing you will see that ayurveda is not just talking about lightening therapies you know losing weight or you know that kind of mm -hmm. detox cleanse from the point of view where you feel light mm -hmm. what ayurveda says yes we need to cleanse but at the same time the way those approaches are applied they should also be nourishing for the body mm -hmm. so even though i'm looking to lose weight but i'm never ever going to say oh yes because i want to lose weight i won't have oil that is not ayurvedic yeah. i will still need oil you know because that is how it helps to nourish the tissues too so yes the cleansing procedures can be followed literally on a daily basis mm -hmm. based on what your body type or constitution is something as simple as you know warm hot water first thing in the morning to drink down so yeah So I I also want to add that Ayurveda and most of the people who who are listening they probably know Ayurveda is a personalized right it's it's very personalized it's not like one diet fits all like we all go yeah. run around okay now there's a Atkins diet and everybody's running to say oh what is Atkins diet and let me just do that and I'm going to look like ten pounds lighter what have you right. 
Absolutely. What you say is so correct. For example, you know, at the moment, on Sunday, I'm going to start like a four week, you know, weight loss program. Mm-hmm. So the way it's going to be, you know, of course, we're going to be doing yoga and everything on a daily basis. But again, I'm very fortunate to have like 32 people booked on it. But yet, each person is sending their own consultation forms to me. So I'm actually putting together a therapy plan to suit their presentation, their illnesses, why they're looking to lose weight. Mm-hmm. Because as you know, you know, in Ayurveda, yes, there may be weight gain. But weight gain can be of three types. If it is vata related, that means it is because of depression, anxiety. And hence, that approach for that weight loss would be very different compared to pitta, where there's excess heat in the body because of stress or endocrine changes or kapha. You know, it can be diabetes or cholesterol. So even the foods that are suggested, herbs that are suggested, they literally are, as you said, you know, tailor-made for that individual. And because you're talking about individuals, again, I tell this to everyone, yes, we may have body types in Ayurveda, but... Just because there are, let's say, you know, 12 different categories, you know, vata or pitta or kapha or combinations doesn't mean that the whole world is put into those 12 boxes. Mm-hmm. I remember my teacher saying, for example, the, at the moment, the way we have 8 billion human population, mm-hmm. likewise, there are 8 billion different types of body constitution, meaning each person, their plan is so tailor-made, so specific, can never compare it to the person beside them. Yeah, no, I think, I think, and that's, that's what is so fascinating, right? Um, that I personally find that, and it's true, like, if I like, if I like certain type of food, and you, it might not be suitable for you, because uh, both of us are very different, right? Um, yeah. All right, so let's talk a little bit, because I know a lot of viewers also want to learn about the outside part of the skin health. So, you know, and, and, and you know, we all buy, like, at least I buy Ayurvedic products, right? Whether they are creams or, or oils, there's a lot of oils. So, can you tell us a little bit about some of these maybe facial oils? Like, at least I'm, I'm not an Ayurvedic doctor. I've just heard about Kumkumudi oils or some of the other oils. So just educate us a little bit because that's the fun part. I think a lot of people would like Yeah, to sure. Of course, yeah. So, you know... Uh... Yes, on one hand, Ayurveda is a serious science, but as you said, but on the other hand, Ayurveda can be quite a lot, like, you know, a lot of fun and something that you can enjoy. And talking about literally face oils or face itself, Mm -hmm. you will see that now in Ayurveda, if you're looking to anti-age, you have to think oil, literally, anti-age oil, they both go together. And based on that, as you already know that, you know, different types of skin types, body types, and then the oils that we use will also change. Mm -hmm. But even through all of that, there is one particular oil which is really good for skin care, skin health, is something called as kumari oil. The word kumari comes from the word aloe vera. So it is an oil made through aloe vera as a plant. Mm -hmm. But interestingly, you will see that Kumari literally means a young girl. You know, it's amazing how Ayurveda has been integrated with all these, you know, Ayurvedic herbs and the words that we use. And because we're using the term young girl, meaning when we were to use that herb aloe vera plant or oil, whenever you apply it to your skin and massage, mm-hmm. it is actually helping us anti-age. You know, so that is how. So talking about oils, kumari oil is one of the best, especially now with spring season coming up, then next coming to summer. Mm-hmm. You will see that kumari oil or aloe, aloe vera, as we all know, mm-hmm. is one of the best, you know, kind of even helps for the skin. But I know not many people know this. But aloe vera, either in, you know, oil form, gel form, has got very good SPF properties too. You know, not many people know that. You know, it actually helps protect our skin against, you know, like harsh sun rays and, you know, sunlight and stuff like that. So it can be used from that point of view too. So yes, you know, kumari oil for the face. And because I'm talking about kumari, mm-hmm. you will see that does not have to be in just oil form, even gel. You know, just if you have a plant at home, like I usually say, you just take the oldest leaf that you have, you know, let the new leaves grow. Mm-hmm. But even that oldest leaf, I usually, yeah, let me show you a pencil. So yeah, sure. if the leaf is that leaf, okay. Okay. Then just, uh, you know, like... um. Like just taking, cutting just the upper part first. So day one, I'll take this, day two, that much, you know, so one inch of the leaf, scrape out the skin from top, inside is the gel, mix it with turmeric, you know, tiny amounts of turmeric so that they won't make your face go too yellow. Yes. And just apply it as a mask. Okay. And amazingly, that really helps with acne or psoriasis or even hyperpigmentation, you know, because... Nowadays, with summer coming up, I'm getting loads of messages where people are asking, you know, what do I do to help protect my skin from, you know, like like sunlight and stuff like that. It's very good for that. If someone says that, oh, you know what, I, along with all these problems, but my skin is also a bit dry, then I would tell them, yes, you can either take aloe vera oil or aloe vera gel, add tiny amount of turmeric, add a bit of heat to it, you know, clarified butter, make it like a mask once again for the skin. 
just leaving it on for like 15 20 minutes and washing off you can literally see before and after effects you know with wow. aloe vera unbelievable oil. i've never tried that i've never tried that yeah, sure. yeah. yeah that's yeah and because we're talking about oil just one other oil because i've been using a lot on my skin lately is castor oil i know many people think castor oil is only for purgation yes. oil making yeah. it go to no, it's not just that amazingly if you apply just warm oil to the whole skin including eyebrows and eye no, eyelashes it is a very good cleansing oil but makes literally 15 20 minutes of warm oil application i usually call it castor oil you know mask for the face leave it on for 15 20 minutes wash it off and your skin glows wow. but along with that it actually helps for our eyebrows to grow thicker even eyelashes to grow longer so that is how you know anti aging for us is using all these natural ingredients that we have out there to again help nourish ourselves you know cleanse ourselves at the same time you know anti age so yes yeah, so one other thing i would ask everyone to try is castor oil it works really wonders to the skin what about kumkum oil <laughs> no those are amazing amazing kumkum oil is same as kumari yeah. those are different kumari, yeah. No, no uh, that is slightly like different but likewise you know, it has got very good anti inflammatory and cooling effects so you know, it is one again one of the best oils to be used in summer time because it actually helps to cool down the skin so once again anyone with like especially hyperpigmentation or any kind of you know, skin discoloration kumkum oil is also very good yeah okay all right oh, what else uh, maybe give us some homemade mask that or oh, yeah. pack. there is no there is one really good one and i remember i learned it from my mom when i was really little and i tell this to everybody there are two different ways of you know making this mask depending upon what you have at home but the first suggestion is combination of you know natural glycerin which is again you know like natural gl- yeah. uh, glycerin you know which you can get in pharmacies or natural health you know shops yes. taking a spoonful of glycerin spoonful of rose water mm-hmm. and a spoonful of you know lime juice or lemon juice fresh lime or lemon yeah. mix it all up and apply just not for this uh, face but literally you know skin anywhere mm-hmm. leave it on for 15 20 minutes and then wash it off now this it has got literally effects for all the three doshas you know vata pitta kapha changes mm-hmm. rose water is very good to kind of you know cool down that excess heat in the body but rose water is also good for kapha yeah. then glycerin is very good to help you know nourish vata you know if there is any dryness in the body and lemon juice is cleansing yeah especially in one with you know uh, uneven skin tone or where there's you know dark circles around the eyes mm-hmm. that is one thing that really works well so combination of glycerin rose water lemon juice if they don't have glycerin then one other more ayurvedic something directly from our kitchen then will be combination of once again castor oil then ghee clarified butter mm-hmm. rose water and lemon juice so this one is a four ingredient mask mm-hmm. so castor oil lemon juice rose water and ghee mm-hmm. same thing you know equal amounts mix it all up and apply it to the skin and this time i say don't just think of your facial skin think of your scalp too you know can extend it a bit more put it like you know with a cotton ball into the scalp mm-hmm. and that also really helps if someone is suffering from dandruff or even hair loss or in like you know any scalp conditions mm-hmm. it helps just not for the facial skin but for the scalp too so that is one easy way and can be done once every week or once every 4 days so either or you know whichever that is easy for them amazing amazing i mean i use uh, all ayurvedic hair oils like amla you know the regular ones oh, that you yeah, see yeah, in the like supermarket it. but this is great uh, i don't think any most of us don't know about all these uh, any questions yeah. anyone has you're welcome to ask guys i know i see quite a few people tuned in so you're welcome to ask questions if there are any questions before we wrap up uh, anything else you'd like to add dr deepa Yeah. See, if it is skin, as I said, yeah, just don't think about skin from the outside. And I keep telling this in every chat of mine. If you want your skin to glow, make sure there is no constipation. You know, I so to correct that yeah. from within the body, and that is why, you know, as we were talking about cleanses earlier, you know, it is a part of the cleansing procedure. But making sure no constipation. The more you make sure that there is regular bowel movements on a daily, regular basis. the more skin health it's just not skin health that also helps with the brain with the nervous system with the liver yeah. so that will that will be the one thing i will ask everyone to focus on to make sure that they go to the toilet every day mm-hmm. and hence that's the reason why the first thing i said in terms of dinacharya has 3 to 400 ml of warm hot water to drink down in one go because that also helps to correct constipation you know on empty stomach so yeah those would be the two main things that i would say to do from within the body mm-hmm. to help with skin health too 
And digestion is very important. I mean, there's so much scientific research now, right? Mm -hmm. Between our gut health and the mental health that yes. we have. Someone asked a question and I'm not able to read it. Can you read yes. it? Because it's Best so supplement for aging skin, please. And what's your advice on vitamin A? Now, see, when you're talking about uh, supplement for aging skin, again, I will not put it down as supplement because I'm going to think about Ayurveda, Ayurvedic. Bear in mind, as we are getting old, I usually tell everyone, you know, who are we? We are nothing but like a fruit. It can be your pear or orange or peach. You know, as we, as a fruit is getting ripe, nice and ripe and healthy, the skin is very smooth. But as a fruit starts aging, you'll see that, you know, water is lost. That means, you know, the skin wrinkles. Same thing happens to us. So if you are looking to prevent anti-aging, then start having, it's up to you, a teaspoonful of olive oil or a teaspoonful of ghee clarified butter or a teaspoonful of coconut oil you know any of those but on empty stomach first thing in the morning and follow it with a glass of warm hot water because that's the first ingested. time then we have ingested, ingested yeah oh, ingested wow. yeah because okay. that really helps you know uh, these oils get very quickly absorbed into the tissues mm -hmm. and then they'll help you know again you know, get rid of any kind of you know aging processes from the skin too but because they're asking about any supplement then in ayurveda certain kind of you know uh, herb supplements that we talk about to help prevent any aging is brahmi mm -hmm. as we all know you know brahmi is one of the most well-known herbs i usually say b for brahmi b for brain but it is also for the nervous system so the more your nervous system is calm, more nourished, more relaxed, then the nervous system sends a right kind of messages to the rest of the body. And that also helps with anti-aging. So Brahmi is one other like you know, a supplement that can be taken on a daily basis. Okay, I see some other thing. Oh my God. Okay, I can't read anything. I'm so sorry. I don't know. And I'm just trying to check what you advise using daily, long term, or uh, recently Ayurvedic neem cleanse tablets. Now, uh, the question that has been asked about the neem cleanse tablets, please do bear in mind that yes, neem is good for the skin. Neem has got very good blood cleansing properties, but neem has got very drying properties too. So, yes, you can use neem not on a very long term basis, use it for two, three months, take a break of maybe one or two months because you don't want too much dryness in the body. Or on the other hand, if you're looking to use neem on a more long-term basis, then always have enough oil intake like ghee along with neem because in that way, you know, it also helps to nourish the body from inside, prevents constipation because neem has got that tendency towards, you know, creating constipation because of dryness. But other than that, you know, to help to take some nourishing foods along with neem, otherwise just take a neem cleanse thing for maybe two months, then take a, a month-long uh, gap, then another two months, that is one of the best ways. Okay. So, yeah, I know there was one more question asked, but I'm not able to I scroll there the, the thing. Oil. There was something on the oil that, that the oils that you talked about, can we use it on our hair? I think you talked about coconut oil. Yeah. In the morning when you were saying ingesting, right? Those are, yeah. So yeah. olive oil, coconut oil, ghee to ta be taken internally with a glass of warm hot water. Okay. But then I think someone asked about us, uh, oil for scalp. Yes. Now, I don't know where you live, but the best oil for hair health or scalp health is Brahmi Amla oil. Again, same thing, you know, yes. it is very good for the hair. Yes. It actually helps to prevent hair loss. It also helps to regenerate new hair follicles. It is nourishing. It helps to calm down the brain. So Brahmi Amla oil is one of the best oils for scalp or, you know, hair health. Okay. Yeah, I think that was the other question I saw. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much. I think amazing, amazing. I mean, you are full of energy, full of knowledge. I mean, this, this, um, and you're doing amazing work. And, and um, oh, thank you so much for your so many tips that you've given to all of us, to all the viewers. Um, anything else? Anyone has any question? We can take, um, you know, questions. Otherwise, we are ready to wrap up. So I just want to give people a chance to if they have any question before I wrap up. Okay. Um, I think no. Is there anything else? No, I think I think that's what I see right now. All right, then we are ready to wrap up. And, and you know, let us know if there are any other questions later on. Thank you so much, Dr. Deepa, for being with us. Okay, there is something. Okay, thank you. All right, loved all. Uh, thank you yeah. for your enthusiasm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Loved all the health tips. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think, yeah, you can get from Yamla. Oh, yeah, I think I've asked, answered all the questions okay. as many as you could see, yes. Okay. All right, the joint pain okay. oil, we are talking about 
skin health today. Maybe we'll do another topic with Dr. Deepan joined me. We, uh, you know. Oh yes, I'm happy to talk on any topic you give it to me. I'm more than happy to give out all the information. Not a problem at all. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, joined me. I actually bought a certain type of uh, oil for my mother. She has a knee pain. I forget the name of the oil. Um, is it Mahanarayan oh, oil? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. yes. That is actually one of the best oil for any kind of joint pains, inflammation, arthritic conditions, or even any ligament tendon, like you know, connective yes. tissue problem. Yes. Mahanarayan oil is the best. The word it explains it all. You know, Maha meaning great, Narayan meaning God. So it's like great God's oil. Okay. So it also helps us with our joints too. Yeah. All right. Just buy that. I mean, that's there's nothing wrong with mm -hmm. buying an oil and applying it on your, uh, you know, joints. Okay. Yeah. Closely. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you again, okay. Dr. Deepa. Uh, thank for, you. Yes, Thanks a lot. To Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.